Good morning everyone, fear speaking. It is Friday. It is the 9th of March 2018. Remember NFT this afternoon, so be very very careful. We prefer not to trade on the Friday when there's NFT coming out, so be careful. Take note of that. Starting off with the Euro index for our chart this week, if we look at the direction indicator, we said we need to look for longs. We flip from the bottom of last week to the high. The blue line on my charts will be Tuesday. So Tuesday, we made new highs. We had to honor it, followed all the way with our FIP, okay, so that the Earth and Sky trading zone can move. However, in the forum, I said to you guys 109.08. 109.50 and 109.59 will be my areas where I wanted to go look for shorts. Now I had an order here that got triggered at 109.28. My stop was on the other side of this weekly pivot point. We got very close to that. Look how it touched there with yesterday's spikes when the spike when the news came out and then the drop. Profit take for me was at the 55 EMA. If we look to the left of the chart, previous support resistance there as well. And if we quickly have a look. I made about 60 pips on that one and my stop was about 35 I think it was so I'm out on that one the 55 EMA is giving support there but I will leave this now alone till next week see what the NFP will do later today here I used dollar four hour chart here too after my write up on Tuesday we said we need to look for longs we flipped from the bottom to the top that was Tuesday. We made new highs. We had to honor it, follow it with the FIP so that the zone can move. Here too, I said you guys keep your eyes on 2402, 2446 for possible short setups. Now price here came, we went sideways and then we had the drop. Now this counter trade also made from the pivot point down to the 200 EMA about 100 pips. This was main profit take areas, the 55 EMA at the 58.2 FIP, and then obviously this is a big area, double two, double nine, it's the 50% FIP, there's a 4 hour 200 EMA, and if we look to the left of the chart, previous support resistance there as well. Let's quickly have a look at the 1 hour, 1 hour when price got to the area where we wanted to short, we had a nice trend line break, this was the entry here at the pivot point, your stop would have been on the other side. Of that so let's call that 55 now yesterday spike got very close there you probably were about four or five pips out from your stop if you got in there and then the drop so we survived that one I think there's a couple of guys in the firm that actually took the short and they got nice pips <laughs> got very nervous when price got very close to their stops Euro JPY, this one is playing around with us. I don't know what's going on with it. Not a lot of momentum volume. Price, or rather whipsawing, there is volume and momentum, but it's pulling and pushing. We had to flip from high to the low. Now, Tuesday, price came into the earth and sky trading zone. We found this resistance at the 200 EMA, and I think while we were busy with the webinar, we had this big candle. We broke to the upside again. Now what I didn't like is that we broke the pivot point, we hit previous support resistance, but look how we dropped to the 55, went back up, broke the 55, so for me this one is a little bit reacting strangely, and if we have a look at this, it looks like we're trapped in a triangle now, so I will leave that one alone for next week. Here a pound, 4 hour chart, beginning of the week price came, we find nice support, at the 38.2 FIP, psychological level 55 EMA, 58.2 FIP, look to the left always, previous support resistance, and I think Mark to, took this one from this area here, and to its highest point it made about 68 pips, and I think he got out there with previous high for 53 to 60 pips on that one, currently going sideways, we'll leave that till next week. Pound US dollar, this one was a little bit different. Remember, we said main trend is up, but while the 200 holds, we wanted to short because the main long areas is way down here at 3459. What did price do? We had to flip previous week from the high to the low. This was our zone starting at 3890, going up to 3979. Now, price here too came into the zone. We had the news, we broke to the upside, and look how 3900 was in control for the whole week look at that went sideways 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 and then yesterday we had that drop i said to you guys i will not take it i need it to break under the 200 ema and this was the four hour candle 
that close under 3878 which is the 200 EMA so that was your entry here and currently stop would have been about 70 to a lowest point that made 85 so if you need to break even now I will leave that alone found JPY this one was also a little bit nasty it came into the trading zone that was the candle with the news during the webinar we said we wanted to look for shorts the trading zone 147.50 going up to 148.75 we touch the psychological level and now we're just going sideways look how price is just under the 55 and we keep going sideways there and by the looks of it there's a triangle forming there so leave that one alone as well if we look at the Aussie used dollar we had a trading zone we wanted to short we flipped previous week from the high to the low our trading zone started at 7803 coming up to 7848 price came into the trading zone I said to you guys keep your eyes on the 55 at 7840 and the 200 at 7843 look up price touch that and drop back that was about 60 pips where we dropped back to the 200 EMA we went back there was a second nibble so twice this week we could have made about 60 pips per trade on this one now year two it looks like looking like we're going sideways so we'll leave that till next week Aussie JPY four hour chart this one was also not playing with price came into the trading zone we said we want a short zone we flipped from the high to the low our zone was between 82 83 going up to 83 50 now price came we touched the 55 psychological level burnt fingers there look to the left of the chart previous support resistance if we have a look at that there was a hundred pips for this but i wanted it to get at least to the pre previous week's low at 81.46 about price pulling back into the zone now and i don't like this guys i think we might have a break to the upside so we'll leave that for till next week US dollar JPY this is the second week in a row where we had a nice earth and sky setup last week we had a short from this area here now this week we had to flip previous week from the high to the low our zone started at 106.45 going up to 107.05 price on two Tuesday came we touched the 50% flip we had a nice bearish engulfing candle and then the drop I would have liked if price could have got to this area that was our main profit take area at 105.25 we got within about 16 pips here from the profit take area use dollar cat for our chart beginning of the week we said we need to look for longs we flip from the bottom to the top but tuesday we made new highs so we had to honor it follow it in the webinar i said you guys 2.97 will be for me key I took that short it was a counter short price came touched that area we dropped and this was my profit take area at the 54 EMA at the 58.2 FIP we got there I touched it and it turned back again a second nibble there I didn't take that one I only got into the first one by the looks of it no man's land going a little bit sideways here so we'll leave that as well remember NFP so this one can rock this afternoon US dollar Singapore dollar still trapped in that triangle we had a little bit breakout but then the pullback we back in that triangle US dollar index this one came we said that we wanted to look for longs at 89.34 shorts at 90.78 our price had a nice drop a nine side from this roadblock area here that gave about 76 we came within four or five pips from our support area this week at 89.54 where price then found support and then the move up currently we at high areas so that is previous support resistance areas there the 200 EMA is there weekly pivot point is there so we can break to the downside for possible shorts I will not recommend that trading this this uh, today the NFP later today so this thing can go any direction that is it guys remember pop in at the forum if you've got any questions please leave a note there i will get back to you as soon as possible and i'll see you later sunday i'll start the forum and then uh, on monday morning a monday morning quickie for market uh, homework uh, where i will post you guys my my thinking for the early part of the week have an awesome one cheers